We're about to take a sneak peek into the high-stakes world of Vladimir Putin, the powerhouse leading Russia, from bidding farewell to the world of intelligence in 1991 to a blink and you'll miss it ascent to acting president in 1999. The guy knows how to navigate the political circus. He's had pit stops in the presidential suite, rocked the prime minister's hat from 2008 to 2012, and, despite cries of foul play, reclaimed the presidential mantle in 2012. Now let's talk about his A1 security. Putin's security detail takes their job seriously. Here is the big question. How do they manage it in actuality? Just imagine a gathering of dignitaries, glittering chandeliers, and a palpable sense of anticipation. Putin makes his entrance, surrounded by a phalanx of stone-faced bodyguards who move with the precision of a well-oiled machine. Meanwhile, these guys create a buffer zone around Putin like a VIP force field, allowing him to navigate through the crowd without getting too cozy with the attendees. And the communication, it's like a silent ballet. Their main rules are subtle gestures, eye contact, a language only they understand, and keeping the team in sync without saying a word. As Putin engages in conversations, his security detail remains vigilant, adjusting their formation to address any changes in the crowd dynamics. In a world where political opponents are tracked around every corner, Putin's bodyguards are the unsung heroes, ensuring that the man himself remains protected, no matter the occasion. Now, let me share my personal experience with you. It's 2018, and the World Cup Soccer Championship in Moscow is buzzing with excitement. I found myself right in the midst of it all. Cameras flashing and the crowd roaring. Suddenly, Conor McGregor, the famed mixed martial artist, decides to go for a quick buddy-buddy moment with none other than Vladimir Putin. As they pose for the cameras, McGregor throws his arm around Putin's shoulders, thinking it's all in good fun. But wait, here comes the plot twist. In the corner of the frame, Putin's A1 bodyguard steps into view, his expression as steely as it gets. With a subtle yet commanding gesture, he signals McGregor to cut it out. Then, at this very moment, McGregor caught his unwavering gaze, quickly removed his arm, and folded his hands together. Shockingly, it's a silent power play, and I'm there witnessing the whole drama unfold. Also, you can check out this clip on YouTube, a spy level moment, captured brilliantly. At the top of this security pyramid, is the National Guard of Russia. It's 2016, Putin's watching, and the National Guard, also known as Roskvardia, steps into the scene. Distinct from the regular armed forces, their mission is crystal clear safeguard Russia's national security and public well-being. Now, this isn't just a desk job. From beefing up border security to tackling terrorism and organized crime, they've got their hands full. And guys, let's not forget the weighty responsibility of guarding critical state installations. But wait, there's more. They're also the go-to guys for maintaining public order and safety, working hand in hand with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. As of 2018, the National Guard boasts a formidable force of 340,000 strong, spread across 84 units covering Russia's vast expanse. It's like the Avengers of Russia's security forces, combining the might of the MVD internal troops, the elite SOBR, the vigilant OMON, and other internal military forces, all distinct from the regular armed forces. But, you know, critics always have something to say. Some argue that Rosgvardia might be Putin's way of forming a private military force to handle civil unrest and counter potential color revolutions. And it's not just about domestic scenarios. There's talk about friendly regimes abroad. After all, Putin is known for making calculated decisions with a clear vision in mind. So the plot thickens in the world of Putin's security game. Do you know what is happening behind the scenes in actuality? There is a formidable group, Putin's sniper squadron. This squad's history goes way back to World War I, and they've evolved with time. Armed with cutting-edge weapons like the Orsi's T-5000 rifle, these snipers are the first line of defense against long-range threats. You know, there's a whole unit tasked with securing the perimeter during Putin's movements. They plan routes meticulously, avoiding potential choke points and areas prone to civil unrest. 
These guys are the unsung heroes, ensuring the president's safety behind the scenes. When it comes to funding, the National Guard is in a league of its own. Putin's army rolls with a budget estimated at around 200 billion rubles. That's over $1 billion today. Talk about big money, right? This huge allocation screams one thing. These guys are crucial players in the nation's security game. And guess what? Their reach is no joke. They've got the power to make arrests, cordon off areas, intercept foreign vessels in Russian waters, and mount rapid responses to emergencies. Now, don't get it twisted. There are rules of engagement. They can't just go waving firearms at pregnant women, kids, or folks with disabilities unless there's an immediate threat. So it's not a free-for-all. But the main point, their duty goes beyond just keeping the big boss safe. That falls under the purview of the President's Security Service, a subset of the Federal Security Service, FSO. Particularly, they're not flying solo. Working hand-in-glove with specialized units like the President's Security Service, they form a complex network dedicated to ensuring the safety and stability of the Russian Federation. It's like the Avengers of Russian security, each with their role, all working toward the greater good. But see, the real James Bond stuff happens when it comes to securing Putin's lodgings. These guys go full Sherlock, conducting meticulous searches to detect any explosives, spy gadgets, or lurking dangers. And let me tell you, choosing accommodations for Putin during his foreign escapades is no small feat. They're into the creme de la creme, luxurious five-star hotels, or in some cases, they go all out, booking the entire hotel, wing or multiple floors for maximum security. And hold on, my friend, because picking the entourage for Putin's overseas adventures is high-stakes business. It's like a secret mission, shh. And yes, they alone tap the same individuals twice. Well, except for one notable exception, Putin's chef, hand-picked by the man himself. Putin's got specific dietary needs, and he trusts only a select few to handle his food. The squad even monitors his calorie intake to keep those abs in check. Safety first, aesthetics second. When Putin is roaming around his turf, the measures taken are next level. We're talking about elite operatives of the SBP, Special Bodyguard Guards of Putin. And yes, that's their legitimate title. Unlike their American counterparts who focus on incapacitating attacks, these guys operate under a more lethal mandate. They're the cream of the crop, hand-picked, and extensively trained to be the world's premier personal protection unit. Unfortunately, former police officers do not apply for this role. Why? Because their training might mess with their willingness to use lethal force. Instead, the SBP brings in highly skilled operational psychologists who can read potential threats through facial expressions. These guys need exceptional stamina, and they can't be caught shivering or sweating just because Putin hates any display of vulnerability. If you've seen those viral clips of Putin in public, you might have spotted individuals in ebony suits, earpieces, and an aura of vigilance. Yep, those are the FSO agents shadowing the president everywhere. Before any public appearance, they're on the grind, scouting locations, charting escape routes, and even jamming signals to block explosives. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The FSO operates with a precise hierarchy and structure. Agents are arranged in four concentric circles, each with specific roles. The innermost circle, made up of personal bodyguards, serves as the first line of defense. The second circle blends into the crowd, keeping a watchful eye for trouble. The third circle fortifies the perimeter during public events, making sure no aggressor gets close to the big boss. And the fourth circle remains in the shadows, ensuring the safety net is wide. Incredibly, these agents aren't just muscle. They've got skills, proficiency in foreign languages, and a deep understanding of politics. This allows them to accompany Putin on trips to remote locales like the Siberian wilderness or rumored clandestine residences, such as the infamous Putin Palace. Do you know Putin is not leaving anything to chance when it comes to his safety. Many might think it's just the frontline security units responsible for his protection, but Putin has turned his security game into a fortress. At the core of this formidable defense stands an extraordinary unit known as the Musketeers. 
No, they're not swashbuckling figures from history, but real-life guardians with a mission ensuring Putin's safety no matter what. These musketeers are not your average bodyguards. The training for these guys is no joke. It's demanding and encompasses a range of responsibilities and extraordinary measures required to protect one of the world's most influential leaders. Let's put a spotlight on its selection criteria. The selection process is so difficult to say the least. They demand not just physical prowess, but unwavering loyalty and the ability to stay poised under extreme pressure. Candidates usually come from military or law enforcement backgrounds with extensive experience in elite units. Once selected, the training is unrelenting. These guys are not just pumping iron, they master a range of skills from hand-to-hand -hand combat to marksmanship. They undergo advanced tactical training to handle everything from terrorist threats to hostage situations. Defensive driving? Oh, they've got that covered too. Now, these guys aren't just about looking tough. They're equipped with state-of-the-art bulletproof shields hidden in seemingly ordinary black leather briefcases. And those briefcases, they conceal 9mm Gersa pistols loaded with armor-piercing bullets. These musketeers also rock Kevlar umbrellas, serving as both shields against small-caliber weapons and, get this, functional umbrellas. The choice of the Kevlar umbrella underlines the musketeer's unwavering commitment to safeguarding Putin at any cost. Their primary mission, though, isn't to engage in combat. In actuality, it's to prevent attacks before they occur. In moments of peril, these musketeers would form a human shield around the president, swiftly evacuating him from the area. It's like Putin's got his real-life superhero squad, ensuring his safety 24-7. Talk about a high-stakes job. Now let's get down to the clear deets of how they handle potential threats. While the musketeers are by Putin's side, other members of the security detail are on the front lines, ready to confront any potential assailants. If things get hairy, they're not holding back. It's a mix of defensive tactics and, if necessary, lethal force. But here's the thing, the key to their game is coordination with law enforcement and emergency services. They need a swift and effective response in case anything goes south. Certainly, life as a musketeer isn't a walk in the park. They're constantly in the public eye, whether accompanying the president on official visits or standing guard during public events. It's not just about looking tough. Musketeers must remain vigilant at all times, scanning crowds, assessing risks, and staying prepared for any eventuality. Their job is to act decisively, shielding the president from danger or neutralizing a threat. And when it comes to Putin's travels within Russia, the presidential motorcade takes center stage. It includes a full-blown military parade. Crafted through a collaboration between Porsche and Russia's Nami, this heavyweight machine weighs in at six tons and stretches a remarkable 23 feet in length. Additionally, the security features that make it more like a mobile fortress are bulletproofing, solid rubber tires, and top-notch communication equipment. This car's got it all. During state visits, it gets the VIP treatment, airlifted to the destination by a massive Ilyushin Il-76 transport aircraft. Now here's where it gets fascinating. The Aura Senate is designed to withstand sniper fire, chemical gas attacks, and even small-scale missile assaults. It's not just a car, it's a mobile command center. Close the window blinds, and an ultra-modern CCTV system offers the security team a 360-degree view of the surrounding area. But wait, there's more. Two of the four seats in the back are retractable, and for that extra security kick, Passengers can monitor the outside world through live CCTV footage, even with the window curtains closed. All right, guys, stay tuned for more explorations into the lives and security of world leaders by hitting the like, share, and subscribe buttons of this channel. Until next time.